Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vlad and today we're going to be unboxing a brand new air purifier by the name of Jasper. At the time of making this video, the Jasper air purifier has not yet been released to general consumers, so you're getting a first and exclusive look at this upcoming air purifier. Let's get started. Jasper is a Canadian-based company. According to its website, its name has been inspired by the Jasper National Park that is known for its clean and fresh air. The Jasper air purifiers have been around for some time now and they've been available for medical and dental office use, but the company is planning to launch a more affordable consumer version later this year. So today we're getting a first and exclusive look at this brand new upcoming air purifier. Now, before we go ahead, full disclosure, the company actually contacted me asking me if I wanted to review the air purifier. So of course I said, yes, it was a great opportunity. So they sent me the air purifier, but they're not paying me to say anything in particular. So all the views and opinions expressed in this video are my own. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you would know that I recently reviewed the Kickstarter air purifier by the name of Miller. So I'm really excited to see how this one performs in comparison to that. So without further ado, let's open up the air purifier and see what we have. As you can see, we've got a pretty big box and that can only mean one thing, that the air purifier is pretty big. We have a pretty clean design on the box with the logo and a simplified minimalistic image of what the air purifier looks like. On the other side, we have some basic specs and that is the fan speeds have a setting of one, two, three, and four. The purification area that it's meant for, which is 42 to 72 meters square, and that it has a high performance HEPA filter for particles and activated carbon for gases and odor. Now let's go ahead and open up the box. First we have the user manual. I'll put that aside and give you a closer look later. Then we've got a power cable. And last but not least is the Jasper air purifier. This is a pretty big air purifier and there is no easy way for me to grab it. So I'm going to lay the box flat and pull the unit out. There is a yellow sticker here that says we need to remove the plastic cover on the filter before first use. We also need to remove this sticker in order to plug in the power cable. So to open Jasper and remove the filter, all we have to do is twist the bottom lid and it should come out pretty easily. Then I'm going to pull out the filter and remove the plastic. And after that, I'm going to pop the filter back in and place the cover back on. So we can see here that setup is pretty simple and straightforward. It's a matter of plugging one end of the cable into the Jasper power socket and the other end into the power outlet. To give you a quick rundown, we've got a basic LED screen on the top that shows the air quality the fan speed and the Wi-Fi status. There is a smart button which allows the air purifier to automatically adjust the speed based on the air quality. A speed button so you can manually set the fan speed by tapping the button multiple times. A turbo button which sets the fan speeds to maximum for a quick clean. A lights button which is pretty self-explanatory and it allows you to turn the lights on the air purifier on or off and of course we have an on and off button. So as far as first impressions go, I really like the design of the Jasper air purifier. It's cylindrical and symmetrical which um, is sleek and being white it just blends in with the background especially if you have white walls. The only feedback I have from a design perspective is that the unit is pretty heavy to lift or move around. So it would have been great to see some wheels built into the base or maybe some indented handles on each side for lifting purposes. I find that the user manual is a bit small and vague 
especially when it comes around to Wi-Fi and how to set it up or use it. So it mentions nothing on the app that is available. It mentions nothing on what band Wi-Fi it uses. But being a pre-production unit, I do imagine that the manual will change and it will probably get updated by the time it reaches consumers. One odd thing that I found was the power cable is actually not centered behind the unit, but it is on the side almost at a 45 degree angle. And I think this kind of disrupts the symmetrical design of Jasper. So depending on where you position your Jasper unit, you might be able to see the cable. And speaking of cables, it would have been great to see a white cable included so it doesn't stand out. Now, I don't know if it's just me and I'm super sensitive to sound, but I do find the Jasper air purifier to be a little bit too noisy for my liking. There is a sound that comes through, especially when it's in automatic or smart mode. It's kind of like a whispering whistle sound. That's the only way I can describe it. Whispering whistle. And it can get a little bit annoying sometimes, so I do have to turn the air purifier off. It is possible that um, being a pre-production unit, they are still tweaking things and it may get fixed with a future firmware update, but I've only experienced that in the automatic setting and it, it comes and goes, it's not constant, but um, hopefully they will rectify that. Another thing that I found a little bit frustrating or annoying, and it may sound trivial, but it was actually the adhesive yellow sticker that was on the Jasper unit covering the PowerPoint. When I attempted to peel it off, it left some sticky residue and I find a lot of companies are either using the wrong adhesive or the wrong stickers and this can be frustrating for the end user because it leaves a sticky residue that is often very hard to clean or you may need additional chemicals to wipe it with. So that could be another thing that can be improved I suppose. So that is all for the unboxing and first impressions video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I will be putting Jasper to the test now for a few weeks and I will do a follow-up video with a review. So if you'd like to know how Jasper performs, please consider subscribing and make sure you ring the notification bell to be notified when the next video is posted. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll see you in the next one.